So yes, this is how to animate number two, the second one in the series. Sorry I haven't got, gotten this one out earlier. Um, I've just been very lazy recently. I haven't uploaded that much. But this is going to be how to animate number two. Yes, the second one in the series. Finally. You see, last time we covered walking and running, and I already had those... I already had those tabs open because I tried multiple times to make this and it didn't quite work but now but this time I don't have the tabs open but I guess that just helps you see me see me animate and might give you a better understanding of the actual thing and yeah the only thing I've actually uploaded recently is the Lego history one and one of the reasons that I even uploaded that in the first place was just because, just because, well, just look how choppy this is. Yeah, that's how choppy it is on my iPad. But it is much less choppy on YouTube, which is usually why I upload like that. Um, but today we will be covering non-hinge-like brick, brick movement. So, just sort of like, hang on, oh, let go, um, so just sort of like, these, uh, these legs have hinges, sure, yeah, but what about stuff that doesn't have hinges, like, this piece of, this little Lego 2x2 two two smooth white tile, it doesn't have hinges, but let's say you want to make it move around, so, the first thing you can do that a lot of people do is just move it like this. Sort of like how I did enjoy the brick. If you if you watch all my animations, you can understand. Um, this I use this type of movement. Apart from in the end where I had to make Joy the Brick turn to not, to, you know, not... Um, confront another one of those stacked up yellow bricks but let's try something more detailed like just something like this can go quite a far away so just doing something like that can actually really help in your animations So, um, I can separate these, just, okay. oh yeah, and also, again, I do suggest Stop Motion Studio Pro or just normal Stop Motion Studio, really, um, really just a great app for animation. Just a really great app for animation. It's really good. Um, there are some effect problems, and like if you want to add a song, it might not show up. Well, I mean, you might not be able to use it. But of course, you can just record it with some other device if needed. But Stop Motion Studio Pro is a great app. Anyways, so. Yeah, the first thing I'd suggest is... No, wait, hang on, hang on. The first thing I'd actually suggest you to use is that. But if you don't like that, like, maybe if it takes you too much time, you can still use this. If you ask me, it just looks... It looks okay. Um, but, yeah, so that's that. But there's also another thing. What if... It's not, well, if it's not a tile you want to move, but, um, a Lego child. So, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, here he is. Okay. So. Cancel. just take off his accessories this is also the guy I used for my very short Halloween special I could definitely animate something better but I didn't 
Anyways, to make this guy move, this is what you want to do. So, you just push him back a little bit like this. Just sort of, just sort of like that. That's basically the same, so we can delete one of those. And then you just place him like that in between the tiles. Sort of like with our normal, sort of like with the normal walking animation. Then you just put him like that. Then get him back down and push him back a little. And then just normal. Of course, you can add um, arm animation for it. I, I don't. I don't really know why, I guess I'm just lazy. But another thing you can easily do is just this. You don't have to push him back if you want to make an animation quicker. That might be a good idea. If you just want to do like a quicker walking animation, then you can do that instead of, yeah, instead of the first one. Um, The first one tick takes up six frames, so, um, wait, hang, no, what, oh, right, no, no, so it takes up five frames, um, I got confused because something Stop Motion Studio does is that it adds this thing, it adds the thing I'm on right now as a frame, basically the camera as a frame, so I, so I get confused when I don't really think about that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so I'm pretty sure that's about it. Um, I don't really know if there's anything else. That wasn't that much, but I'll probably be uploading another one of these today. Again, sorry for, again, sorry for the fact that I haven't uploaded that much. You can just guarantee a video like every other Saturday or Sunday or something. I don't actually really have a schedule to upload videos. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that's about it. Oh yeah, and one more little tip. So, you should you should always um well, I mean, if you if you um I mean you should should if you don't want to that's fine or if you just don't have clay don't do this you don't have to but um another thing you can do is what is maybe you like if you're moving the tile sort of like this in a diagonal direction um i also did that in jerry the brick again well i mean the link might be in the description i'm not sure i might forget I'll try to find it and copy it. So you can just use clay to make them, to make it stick like that. So it, um, you can just add clay to make it stick like that when it's going diagonally. And then of course you can make it skid a little. Just sort of like this. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Let me check. Okay, well, whatever, yeah. It's probably, I'm pretty sure that's it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, that's it. This was, this was quite the short one, I know. But I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how to animate a little bit more today. And yeah, um, next time we're pro I'm probably going to teach you about special effects. But yeah, that's it for this. So yeah, goodbye.
and have a wonderful Friday. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what day it is for you, but for me it's Friday, and I have the day off from school, which is why I'm doing this. Yeah, goodbye. And